Hello everyone and welcome back to Coloring with Haley. I'm a little bit late, but today we are going to talk about my 10 books to finish in 2021 and we're going to see how I did. I finished some books, you know, but uh, not, not all of them. So, let's get to the books I finished first. I did finish the World of My Stained Glass book and I have a full flip through of this up on my channel. I finished this one kind of earlier in the year. This was really fun and I enjoyed coloring in this and I believe I colored it just in order. I was not one of the channels that recorded how many pages I had already done in a book and how many pages I had left. So unfortunately I don't know how many pages I had in this already done at the start of 2021. I know it wasn't many. I would venture to say maybe five pages. And then I did the rest. I believe there are 30 in here. It says somewhere. Yeah, there are 30 in here, so I probably did maybe 25 pages throughout the year last year. But yeah, I didn't write it down, unfortunately, so. I'm cheating a little bit by concluding this book because it wasn't on my original list of 10 books to finish. But I sort of kind of abandoned that original list, and you'll, you'll see that as I talk about it some more. And I did color this one completely, and I have a flip through of this up on my channel as well. I did the color along that was hosted by Monet, the coloring diva, uh, where we colored in this book according to the holidays that kind of coincided with that month. So the book was done in order and we may have one page one month and then, you know, three the next month. Here's the little tabs at the front. You can see there works Christmas, Quinceanera, Fourth of July, even baby shower. Hannah and kind of thought of all of the holidays to include. And yes, I did. I did finish it. I had a lot of fun coloring in this. This was really enjoyable. I kind of tacked it on as my 11th book. And I am saying that I finished it because there are duplicates in here. And I'm not going to color those duplicates. So that's why you're seeing a few blank pages. I'm not a person that really colors duplicates. So for me, it is finished since I did color the all 25 images, just not the duplicates of them. But this was a lot of fun to do as well. And then the biggest one that I spent the most time to and kind of dedicated everything to was my Chibi Girls 2-in-1 Grayscale by Jade Summer. I believe I had around half of this book finished when I started the year. I'll have to go back and watch because I colored two a month and that would be about 24 pages. But last month I had to color one extra, so about 25. That would be exactly half because this is 50 images. But yes, I did finish this one, and I have recorded a flip through of this. It's coming. I just have to find a good time to upload it because it's about an hour long, and that will take forever to upload on our internet. So get ready for this flip through. It's going to be a long one, but yeah, I did finish this. And this book is the reason I didn't get as much done in any of the other books. I really, really, really wanted to finish this book. I just had my mind set on finishing this one and the way I kind of did it was I looked at all the books that I had picked and I was like okay well from this book I have to color two pages a month from this next book I have to color three pages a month from this book I have to color a page a month from this book I have to color four pages a month you know and I'm a very strict schedule person I just am naturally I set my own schedules for the week especially like when I'm in college and even for individual days and I like adhere to that to a T and it bothers me if I'm not able to so I kind of went into it the wrong way I think the uh 10 books to finish because I set myself such a strict schedule that I wasn't really able to color in other books that I wanted to color in so yeah I kind of ended up towards the beginning or about halfway through abandoning some of it to do certain books like this one for example the two pages a month out of this and then two pages a month out of world of mice and then my pages out of whimsy girl celebrate the holiday they kind of took up more of my time and i realized that there were a bunch of other books that i just wanted to color in and i wasn't able to so let's get to the books that i didn't finish uncommonly cute animals by jen racine i don't think i even colored a page in it last year and I'll tell you why. So here's what the book, my copy looks like, okay? Not bad, but you can see that 
stuff is kind of cut off down at the bottom. The image isn't exactly centered on the page. Can you see the plants down there are cut off? You know, they're cut off here on the corner. Not too long after I bought this book, the Amazon listing updated. And it was just the picture of the book. Like, she changed the cover. I believe it's now just the axolotl kind of in the ocean or in the sea. And it updated to be that. And I was like, okay, well, she updated the cover. That's cute. But I didn't see any difference in the description on the Amazon listing. So I didn't think anything else about it. I went ahead and colored a page out of here. Um, let's see if I can find that page. There we go. I did the Jerboa, which is sort of like a kangaroo rat type thing. And then I saw someone do a flip through of this. And here's my conundrum. The book did actually change. If you buy this on Amazon now, the images are now centered on the page and framed. They are different. She has changed them. They're a little smaller so they can be centered and framed. And I kind of like that more. I I'm okay with the leaves running off the side of the page. They, I mean, they can be a bit difficult to color. You know, you kind of want to make sure you have something to catch that if you're trying to color with marker off the end of the page there. But my problem is I've already spent money on this copy. And I, I can color stuff that's cut off like that. I have plenty of books like that. I don't hate it. But I do prefer it to be framed. And so I can't make up my mind on whether or not I want to just keep this and color it as it is now or buy the new version of it. So that's why I really didn't touch this one because I still can't make up my mind. I mean, I could use that money to buy a book that I don't own. I just cannot decide what to do. I also selected Chibi Horror to color the first 25 images because this is one with duplicates. And I did actually color some pages in this last year, just not enough to complete it. I know I colored this ghost girl and then I outlined her with purple marker to make her look more ghostly and this turned out really cute. I know I did my mermaid page, which if you saw my year in review, I kind of talked a lot about that page. Just a few pages in here really is what I did. Here's my mermaid. These are, of course, like the other Chibi Girl pages, quite detailed, and they do take me a while to color. So it kind of became quickly realized to me that I wasn't going to be able to do all of them, along with the other Chibi Girl pages I was doing. Those two may have been it. I don't remember if this clown was last year or the year before. But that is all I got done in this. Mystery Mosaics, the year before, I was very, very, very into Color by Number. And I was like, yeah, 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 I'll do a Color by Number book. That would be something good to do to finish. And then last year, I just didn't do as many Color by Number pages. I mean, in 2020, I finished two of these Mystery Mosaic books. So I was like, yeah, absolutely, let's put this on here. I'll finish it. And I only did a page out of here. I only did this space shuttle page and I like how it turned out these always turn out really nice for some reason last year I just wasn't feeling the whole color by number thing I really don't know why I kind of felt more like doing just regular coloring I was really ambitious with my 10 books to finish as you can tell because I selected the Jade Summer Kawaii one and this is also 50 pages except it's more like I have done like three in here so I would have like 47 left instead of 25 very ambitious choice and I don't think I colored any in here last year because I was so busy with the other grayscale book that I sort of didn't do any other grayscale coloring. I know I have some older pages in here finished. I think I did one for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. I would love to return to this book this year though probably not to finish it just to have fun and color in it because I do like the images in it and I like how they turn out. Next up we have Glamour Ghouls Pinup by Deborah Muller, the Deborah Muller book I've done the most in. And I didn't finish it but I did actually color some more pages in it last year. I don't know how many pages are left. I'd say less than half the book probably. I'm certain that I did this one last year. Life is sweet. I know I did Another one towards the middle of the year. Let me find it. I probably should have marked which ones I colored. Might make things go by faster. But I know I did this one toward the middle of the year as well. The kind of little monster pet shop of horrors-esque 
page with the like lively plants that are eating her hand. Um, and I thought the two that I did, those may have been it. No, I think I may have colored this one as well. Trying to remember, again, I didn't write it down. I don't know why I didn't. That would have been like a really good idea, but I didn't do it. So a little disorganized for this video, but I also think I may have done this page last year. This one was either last year or the year before. But I have done a bunch of pages out of here. I just didn't get it finished because, like I said, I went into overdrive with it and, like, focused way too hard on the Chibi Girls. But I am so glad to have had that book done. Next up is a book that's, like, a little cheaty book again. Frog Stained Glass coloring book. I did two pages out of it. This one here and this one here. I kind of need a white page to show you uh, what these look like really and there are like four pages left because I'm doing a frog color along all next month February I am actually going to try to finish this book uh, in February it's simple there are eight images on the stained glass type page of frogs so I think I could get it done they're pretty easy to color just straightforward you know with marker and then we have monster babes a creepy glam coloring book by Stephanie Quinn this one has 30 images in it and I know I colored a few in here last year, but again, I didn't get it done. This is a book that I would really like to finish because I do really enjoy Stephanie Quinn's artwork, but I just uh, it didn't, didn't happen, you know? Life happened and I was busy and too focused on other things. And so here's the big final one, Sci-Fi Babes, a cyber glam coloring book. I abandoned this around October I think because there were so many Halloween pages and so many Christmas pages I wanted to color I was like okay let's just focus on the Chibi Girls and the Whimsy Girls and I can come back to this. This book has five pages left and I already did color page in it this month. I'm not doing the 10 books to finish for 2022 but you will see me finish this book in 2022. In fact I'm working on finishing it now. I've already done a page out of it. I did color a ton of pages in here last year. I did this Billie Eilish girl. I, I did this one, my ice cream girl. That's one of the pages I still haven't done yet. I know I did this robot, I did this girl. I did this one. I, I have done a ton in here and I, there is so little left to do. This is definitely going to be a book that I finish, and I know a lot of you really liked seeing my pages in this, and I apologize for stopping there for a while, but I just kind of had to take a break to have time to color other things that I wanted to. But you will see this book for sure done in 2022. It's kind of one of my goals, and it's going to be done because there are just so few pages left. And in fact, these are kind of my two books that I'm saying I'm going to finish. And I actually do have one more book that I would like to do in 2022, and I feel like I can complete it just because I'm already having so much fun coloring in it, and that is Kira Shershneva's Color by Colors Country Life. I've done two books out of it already this month, and I kind of, two books, two pages, and I kind of already want to do a third. So this is sort of unofficially my books that I'm looking to finish in 2022, but you know, we'll kind of see what happens. For sure, Sci-Fi Babes will be done. This one, I'm not so sure. I do believe it's 25 images, and I have maybe five done, so that's 20 images. We'll just see what happens, kind of where everything takes me, but yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. These are my books that I would like to finish in 2022. Just three, just three books. And then here is the rest of the pile of books that were from 2021. I am very, very, very proud of myself for finishing Jade Summer's Chibi Girls. I mean, this book is 50 images and, you know, some of them are very, very detailed. Some of them are more simple. I am over the moon that I was able to finish this last year. So I'm still very proud of myself. I'm still happy with how the challenge went. But I did kind of decide it wasn't for me. I would rather sort of just color what I want to color each month and set my own kind of smaller individual goals. I have been enjoying seeing how other people did, though. It seems like a lot of people kind of fell off of it halfway through, a little bit like I did. But some people, dumb people, 
some of y'all really got done with like nine or ten books or seven books. Some of y'all like really put the pedal to the metal and like knocked this thing out of the park and that is crazy. But I decided, yeah, it just wasn't for me, though I am happy with what I was able to get done. I do wish I know how many pages I colored last year. That would be interesting to see, but that's kind of why I started doing this little journal thing here this year. And maybe when 2022 ends, I'll be able to tell you, look, I finished the three books I said I was going to finish, and I also colored this many pages. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can keep up with the journal, too. I'm, I'm a little bad about abandoning things halfway through. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my kind of disorganized little update on my 10 books to finish.